everybody, I am Cyril De Remo. And this, my friends, is Happy Time. Today we have a new Happy Time. It's called a Happy Time Interview. I'm going to have a friend next to me. So this is Leif. Aloha. Aloha. And um, I think it's really interesting to see people that have had great experiences in their lives and challenges and how they took them on and how they they tackled them and how they they went over them over them it can be a challenge it can be a dream it can be um, something they really want to do and and how they reacted what it changed in their life so okay so here's Leif um, so Leif it's a pretty tricky question but is there something it could be in your in your personal life in your in your sports life, in your work life, whatever, something that that was you think a turning point in terms of your, your the way you you worked, or uh, and that was a step. And then I don't know. It's um, is it clear? Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> yeah I think so. And I, uh, I guess a turning point. One of the turning points in my life that helped me look at all different aspects of life, whether it be business or personal life or athletic goals or or just family goals. Is, uh, years ago, I was starting my own business, and it was in a market that wasn't developed. It was a new type of business. And I got very frustrated because things weren't happening. I'd been pounding my head against the wall for many years trying to develop a market that really wasn't there, I felt like. Uh, yeah. And I was about to give up. I had applied to school. I was going to go back and get an engineering degree and say I'm just not going to be a contractor anymore, a builder. So how, how long did you try that before you you it was felt like two it was years of two, two years of hard work I, yeah. of hard work and my brother came down and uh, he uh, he told me give me to he gave me some hints on a way to reevaluate and look at things differently and mainly just sell differently and put my focus rather on building than on selling so I thought okay I'm gonna give this a little more of a shot. And I went back and I reinvented myself in the business on how we were going to sell. So I went to see Carol, oh, my so. personal jewel. So, so I got into that. Things changed. Things turned around. By selling better, we were able to do more projects. Projects that became much more dynamic. Projects that added to a portfolio that made me happy. We were building really cool, fun stuff. And I was doing things I liked. So and first it, of all, the first step was to seek for outside help? Or I, was it to... Well, my first... I was going to give up completely and just, I was going to can it and my brother just happened to come along and when I told him this and he said, ah, let me help you a little bit. Okay. And uh, so, so first you have to be open to that. Too. I had yeah. to be open yeah. to that and I was yeah. definitely open to it because I was, like I said, I was, uh, had applied to school and got accepted, go back to get an engineering degree Yeah. Uh, and I was going to change courses and I was, what, 30, 30 years old and I'd been working at my own business for a number of years trying to get it going. So. I changed the business completely and went into something I wasn't familiar with, which was sales, and really developed that end of the business, okay. and that really helped the business. What I've kind of gleaned from that over the years is that to be a businessman, nothing is static. Everything is changing all the time. Yeah. And if we're not changing, if we're not being proactive with things, then we die, we wither, we just nothing progresses. And that reflects in all walks of life, uh, I think, from family, what you put into your wife, most importantly, yeah. what you put into your kids, yeah. you got to be changing, doing things new, doing things so, fun. So, do you have not only to be open to change, but uh, seeking change? Seeking or change. Always looking for uh, what can no, I do differently? Not being afraid of it, which is a kind of a funny thing, because this originated me with, in my, with business, yeah. and I always kind of laugh, because people uh, uh, always say that business people are very conservative. I think the real conservative business people are the big corporations. Usually small business people they are far from conservative there because yeah. they have to be open to complete change. They're always moving. They don't so, want change. Or they do want change, right? So the fact that you did that, did uh, like several times in other other aspects of life, you, you were strong in your head saying, I can adapt to anything. Just because of that experience you say, I can change and I can change. So th that was 
that's one of your I'm yeah currently in, a, in we've got a very heavy recession right now building trades have been hit very hard in California I've had to let go a lot of crew most builders I know have either gone out of business or barely hanging on uh, and I'm kind of in a position where I know I need to change but I'm not afraid of it <laughs> Yeah. I'm embracing it actually. It's kind of like, oh, this is going to be fun. Yeah. Gonna, it's going to be a change. I, I got to change it. But instead of being afraid of that change or afraid of the future, it's moving forward saying, hey, it's just being, got to do something different. Yeah. You know, a whole new chapter. And where that goes, who knows? But, and that again applies to sports, I think, all the time. If we're just constantly doing the same thing, the same stroke technique or whatever, we're not going to be getting Whichever any better. Whichever sport, yeah. Whatever sport it is. Don't get any better. Yeah, cool. So it, you got to be open to new things. When we get closed off, it's like uh, we shut down. Yeah. And closing ourselves off to saying, oh, "I know this sport. I'm good at it. This is yeah. what I do." That's when you stop. That's when you stop learning. Being good. And yeah. That's when you stop being good. When you're yeah. open to what other people are saying all the time. And sometimes that gets hard. You think you know what you're doing. Right. But it's a closed mind. It's. Uh, I think the Japanese have a word, shoshin, and it means beginner's mind. Yeah. And wow. beginner's mind, that's what it's about. And it's being a beginner's mind is being open. Master carpenter has to maintain beginner's mind. And that's Shoshin, uh, a, a Japanese wow, carpentry cool. term, which I really do enjoy and love that kind of notion. Love it. Thank you so much. Well, guys, this is exactly what I want to do. I want to do more of these interviews. I think, uh, you know, I think it really happens when. I first did uh, this year abroad, I was 18 years old and, and this was a stepping year for me. And I think there's those experiences that you, 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 you use all your life, you know, those kind of things that are so important. So the first lesson today with life is uh, be open to change, seek change and embrace change and that'll work. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Thank you so much, life. <laughs> Aloha, guys. Aloha.